Hello, dear friends, friends, and subscribers. Yes, I have a sore throat today, but what an exciting match that happened today uh, in uh, in Sri Lanka in the house trophy, where the Bangladesh batsman Mahmudullah slammed a six to take his team into the finals of the Nidharas Trophy in Sri Lanka to meet India and the whole Sri Lanka were humbled and also Mahmudullah hit a six of the penultimate ball of the final over to clinch victory for Bangladesh amidst a lot of victorious scenes but unfortunately uh, this particular game was marred by a lot of uh, misgivings uh, between the Sri Lankan players and the Bangladeshi players uh, in the end, Shakibul Hassan, uh, the umpires, uh, there was an error uh, on a, probably no one does not know, it was a, it was in the final over when 12 runs were required of six balls. Mustafa Rahman was playing uh, the uh, Isru Udana. Isru Udana bowled a ball which probably they felt, uh, the Bangladeshis felt that it could have been, uh, it could have been a free hit because the umpire did not declare it. Mustafa Zur was run out. And there was uh, scenes where Shaki Malasan uh, was calling the players back to the pavilion. And then amidst all these scenes, Mahmudullah comes out and takes, um, I, mean, I mean, really, one has to really commend this knock of Mahmudullah. Because, you know, the concentration is always disturbed. So that's the precise reason I say that this was a, it was a marvelous innings from Mahmudullah to take his team uh, to victory in a virtual semi-final that happened. Uh, between Bangladesh and Sri Lanka and Colombo and finally it was Bangladesh were the victors when Mahmudullah beautifully flicked Isru Udana the left arm seamer over the square leg region uh, for a magnificent six uh, to cap off proceedings for uh, Bangladesh to enter the finals of the Nidharas Trophy to meet India on Sunday. <coughs> so I'm going to take you down to the wire right now just to first take you down to the excitement and then probably uh, get into not in the nitty gritties, uh, but at least get into some basic um, uh, some um, some basic facts. So let's have a look at it. So this is where the problem started. Uh, the there were 12 runs required of the of the six balls. So uh, Bangladesh there were two batsmen at the crease. Um, it was uh, Must Mustafa Rahman and Mahmudullah. And the first ball <coughs> Udana delivered. It was a wonderful delivery from. Um, Usru Udana, the left arm seamer, uh, and uh, there was no run. So that was the, uh, the, the first ball. Now the second ball was the one uh, which triggered off all the problems when Isru Udana bowled to Mustafa Zul Rahman. And it was a short ball, it was a sort, sort of a bouncer, and Mustafa Zul missed, but Mahmudullah had actually run in, and then Mustafa Zul had to leave his crease and in the process, uh, Mustafa Zul was run out. <coughs> now here, here was the problem. What was happening was uh, the the, uh, the Sri Lankan fielders, the Bangladesh um, substitute fielders uh, who were there uh, probably at the end of the rope were having an argument with the Sri Lankan fielders uh, and then uh, the umpires had to chat to the batsman and then uh, uh, probably uh, Bangladesh wanted that uh, ball to be called uh, a sort of a bouncer, a short ball probably above the shoulder and that is what irked uh, Bangladesh. Uh, uh, too much as Shakib uh, really really said. Shakib Lassan was playing today, he was the captain of the team, uh, the umpires had to chat to the batsmen, uh, Shakib started arguing with the umpires, uh, there were a lot of uh, things happening uh, on the field between the Bangladeshi players and the Sri Lankan players uh, and there was also a lot of noise going on and uh, there was an absolutely, um, um, it, it was a really really <coughs> A very, very, uh, um, a lot of cacophony there. And uh, Khaled Mahmood, uh, the coach, had to come out. He he came in and probably told that. You know, Shakib was uh, so riled up that he was actually calling his guys back. And uh, and that could also uh, made Bangladesh disqualified. But Khaled Mahmood was the one uh, who was pretty cool. And he had told um, Mahmoodullah to walk in. And Mahmoodullah had to obey the orders. And this was what happened. So that was the time the, the score, uh, well, the, the, they needed still 12 or 4 balls and it was game on. Uh, it was 4 balls uh, there and 12 runs were required. And Mahmoudullah, one has to really, really say that this is not something which is very easy. You are coming back from a lot of things happening. Uh, there's a lot of ruckus around you and then you come in here 
after the break and slam the very first delivery that you face for four and that was a wonderful shot and that was a superb shot from Mahmoudullah because this was a full and wide outside the off stump and Mahmoudullah reached for it and beautifully drilled it over the cover region for a magnificent boundary to bring the equation down uh, to eight of three balls and then the fourth delivery that Mahmoudullah got um, Mahmoudullah flicked it away down to the deep mid wicket region and uh, really hurried across for two runs to make the equation six runs required of just two deliveries but Mahmoudullah was so charged up that uh, he had done all the hard work in the sense he had done he had done a wonderful job uh, over there uh, coming in holding the innings together when these the, when the Bangladesh innings was really sliding down and he came there and gave them victory now this was something the six of two balls uh, a new gloves were summoned for Mahmoudullah and uh, that new gloves really really helped because uh, Ishru Udana uh, bowled a ball which was on the slot for Mahmoudullah and you know Mahmoudullah was as I said absolutely charged up he just flicked it over the square leg region uh, backward square leg for a magnificent six and Bangladesh were into the finals and the Bangladesh team came out started doing the snake dance there were a lot of uh, things happening uh, where the Bangladeshi, um, um, uh, the Bangladeshi um, um, uh, the unit uh, was actually having that snake dance uh, probably trying to uh, ride the Sri Lankans there and the Sri Lankans were also not um, uh, were also reciprocating in the sense that there was a lot of things going on and it was absolute um, chaos out there uh, at the center but whatever be the case Bangladesh thanks to Mahmoudullah Nok they have reached the finals and congratulations to them and as I said <coughs> One man who has to be congratulated according to me is none other than Mahmoudullah. What a knock from him. As I said, to have your concentration spot on after coming there, slamming a boundary and with the equation uh, really being a very, very uh, tricky one, uh, I thought Mahmoudullah sealed it. He did not even wait for the final. The, the, in the penultimate ball itself, he sent the ball soaring for a six over the backward square leg region and completed the formalities and took his team Bangladesh into the finals of the Netherhouse Trophy and India will be awaiting them now in the Netherhouse Trophy and whole Sri Lanka I would say were humbled as uh, okay so so now I've, I've taken you down to the wire so let's uh, talk about this uh, innings in very brief so Sri Lankans were the ones who batted first and they put up uh, 159 for 7 on the board if you look at that particular, um, um, the, the particular um, uh, scorecard of the Sri Lankans, uh, it was not easy going. They lost uh, both. Mendes Gunatilaka was out for four. Shakib Hilassan making his presence felt uh, absolutely early innings as he was the one who, who, who picked up the first wicket. He was the one who started with the new ball uh, and he picked up the wicket of Mahesh Gun uh, sorry, Danishko Gunatilaka for four. Uh, Kushal Mendes was out to the balling of, of Mustafa Zurayman for 11 of 14. That was two fours. Uh, Kushal Pereira and then uh, the, I mean, in fact Sri Lanka were in um, absolute strife I would say because uh, wickets started falling pretty quickly. Upal Taranga was run out for five. Uh, Dasun Shanaka was out for not to the bowling of Mustafa Rahman and Mary Miraz picked up uh, Kushal Mendes to leave the Sri Lankans uh, in a real a real tizzy I would say as they were 41 for five in the ninth over and it was only the Pereiras who came to their rescue with uh, one end it was Kushal Pereira uh, who was smashing the ball at the other end was the other Tisara Pereira and both of them uh, really started taking the attack to the Bangladeshi camp as they started charging and uh, started really really not only retrieving the situation for Sri Lanka uh, but really carrying it along as they pushed they uh, they together by hitting some um, sixes and boundaries uh, they took the score on to 138 uh, in the 19th over right? but still Bangladesh bowlers uh, were doing a fine job there and uh, Kushal Pereira's con contribution was 61 of 40 deliveries which included 7 fours and 1 six Tisra Pereira slammed 58 of 37 3 fours 3 sixes Udana not out 7 then Jaya not out 1 and uh, thanks to the Pereira uh, Pereira combination uh, the the Sri Lankans managed to reach 159 for 7 of their 20 overs Shakib Lassan as I said made his presence felt as soon as he came to the team and one, one knew what was the reason Shakib Lassan was summoned to play in this particular match? Two was one for nine, and this is what Shakib Lassan is all about. 
Rubelison, 4 hours, 1 for 41. Mustafa Zou, 4 hours, 1 minute, 2 for 39. I thought it bowled superbly. Marius and Mizaz uh, did his job uh, in a wonderful manner. 4 hours, 1 for 16. Mahmoudullah, 4 hours, 1 for 29. And Soumya Sarkar, 2 hours, 1 for 21. Bangladesh were given a target of 160. And uh, the start was not good. Akila Dhananjaya, the uh, spinner, uh, was really, really uh, boring a hole into the uh, Sri Lankan, uh, um, into the Bangladeshi unit. As Lytton Das was consumed for a knot, Sabi Rahman was sent back by Dhananjaya, uh, stumped um, stump by Pereira for 13 of 8 balls, 3 fours. And then <coughs> Mushfiqur Rahim uh, was uh, caught Pereira bowled upon, so and there was a middle order collapse. Tami Mikbal was the one who was doing a good job. He was playing in, uh, uh, in a good fashion, but he was also making sure that he was actually ticking the scoreboard along uh, by hitting four fours and two sixes in a sweet knock of 50 or 42 deliveries. Uh, but then his wicket was claimed by Gunatilaka. Uh, Mushfiqur Rahim um, uh, made 28 of 25 balls with two fours. Uh, Soumya Sarkar was out to the bowling of Mendes for 10. And now the owners and Shaki Vilasin and Mahmoudullah were at the crease at that time. There was a sort of a middle order collapse, I would say. 97 for 3, 105 for uh, 4, 109 for 5. And then when Shaki Bahasan departed, uh, I, I'm sure Bangladesh would have got a bit of hope there uh, after Shaki Bilasan departed the scene. Uh, that, was, that was at 137 when Shaki Bilasan was uh, claimed by Isru Dana for 7 of 9 balls. So that was the 18th over and they still required 22 runs. But, uh, uh, you know, Mahmoudullah is, um, is always uh, considered to be a good finisher. So that was definitely, I am sure Bangladesh would have had a lot of hope. But uh, what I was uh, trying to, and then suddenly we saw that Mahmoudullah uh, was running out of partners. Mehdi Hassan Miraz was run out, Mustafa Zur was run out in the final level as I spoke about. But Mahmoudullah, hats off to him for playing this uh, real blinder, I would say. Because uh, he not only, he did not, he hit boundaries, he hit sixes, but he also uh, put the ball into the gaps, um, you know, ran well between the wickets. And he was absolutely charged up to take Bangladesh into the finals. And that is what was reflected in that, la in that uh, penultimate ball six that he sent soaring over the backward square leg region. Mahmoudullah was not around 43 of 18. That was three fours and two sixes. And very rightly was man of the match. Now, so talking about the bowling uh, from the, uh, from the uh, Sri Lankan unit. Fernando, one over for 10 runs, never bowled after that. Um, uh, Dhananjaya for was 2 for 37, Aponso 3 was 1 for 19, Pereira 2 was 9 for 20, uh, Gunatilaka 3 was now made 1 for 24, Mendes 4 was 1 for 24, Isru Dana uh, was a bit costly. And uh, Isru Dana would definitely be ruining the fact uh, that he bowled a ball on the slot to Mahmoudullah, uh, which probably was easy picking, but again, under the pressure that Mahmoudullah was in, with all the chaos surrounding him, I thought that was a magnificent shot. 2.5 was no minimum for 26. Mahmoudullah was an absolute hero today for Bangladesh to take them into the finals uh, of the Netherhouse Trophy. Well, so from here, let's uh, get on to the super sixes of the ICC World Cup qualifiers. The ICC World Cup qualifiers today saw a game uh, between Zimbabwe, the hosts who were playing Ireland, and Zimbabwe kept their record absolutely intact. They have not lost a single match being the hosts of the tournament, and they are absolutely, I, I would say, they are really, really living up uh, as hosts here. As Zimbabwe had a very easy victory. In fact, one thought that Zimbabwe were really, really struggling uh, at Ferrari uh, with the batting. They were losing wickets pretty quickly, and uh, I thought the Irish bowlers bowled well uh, to restrict Zimbabwe to 211 for 9, but Ireland would have probably not known that Zimbabwean bowlers were pretty equal to the task as they restricted Ireland to 104 to pick up a victory by 107 runs. And Sikandar Raza was an absolute toast. And I mean, what to say about Sikandar Raza of Zimbabwe? He has, he has become the go-to man for Zimbabwe. Whenever the chips are down, he comes and plays an innings. Today, his man of the match innings was an unbeaten 69 of 83 deliveries, which contained four fours. But what was, um, what was more important was... He held the innings together for Zimbabwe when it was really, really uh, caving along. Uh, Zuao, as usual, I mean, as a, as a real entertainer, 20 of 18 balls, 1, 4, 2, 6s. Uh, Solomon Ma, 11 of 15 balls, 1, 6. Uh, Hamilton Masakadza, uh, he was gone for 18 to the bowling of Rankin. 18 of 24 balls with 2, 4s. Brendan Taylor uh, made 25, 41 deliveries, 1, 4, 1, 6. Um, uh, Sean Williams was out for 9 of 15 deliveries. Craig Irwin run out for 20 uh, of 26. 
but Sikandar Raza was the man. In fact, the Irish bowlers uh, were doing a wonderful job uh, to have them absolutely on the rack. The score read 139 for 7 and then uh, the repair job was done by Sikandar Raza who has become, I would say, he's Zimbabwe's Mr. Reliable Batsman here. And what a knock. He, he got the company of Chisoro. Chisoro gave him good company uh, to see to it that Bangladesh read the full quota of overs. Chisoro contributed 21 of 42, three fours. Ajahn was out for one, but it was Sikandar Raza who was the man who had an unbeaten 69 to his credit of just 83 deliveries, which included four fours and three sixes. And 211 for nine was not a good score on this particular wicket. And one thought that um, Zimbabwe would be really, really challenged there. Uh, Murtag was uh, simply superb. Ten was two made in 36 runs and three wickets, uh, even though he was hit for a magnificent six by Sefav, Sefav, Sefav Zuavo. Uh, in the uh, in the probably in the initial overs, uh, McCarthy ten was one for 59. Rankin um, uh, really bowled well. Ten was one minute one for 35. Andy McBride the off spinner ten was two for 42. Uh, Kevin O'Brien eight was one minute one for 22. Uh, bowled superbly and Sterling two was none for 12. Now when the, uh, the when the t time for Ireland came to chase this uh, 212 runs for victory from the 50 overs, uh, they they really really struggled. In fact, the Zimbabwean bowlers were absolutely swarming over the Irish. They knew, the whole Zimbabwe knew that they have to do it. They were determined on the field. Uh, they picked up the wickets. They picked up, uh, they, they, they showed some nice um, uh, reflexes on the field. And look at the bowling. Kyle Jarvis, five overs, one maiden, one for 20. Chisoro was the man who did the damage in the initial uh, stage to reduce them to 18 for three. Seven overs, one maiden, 22 runs and three wickets to the spinner, Tendai Chisoro. Uh, B. Muzrabani, 4 overs, 1 for 15. Sean Williams, 6 overs, 1 minute, 1 for 17. Creamer, uh, the captain doing his perfect job. 8.2 overs, 1 minute, 18 runs and 3 wickets. 4 overs, 1 for 11. And what a, what tremendous uh, bowling uh, from the, I mean, I would say it was a sort of uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the um, uh, Irish bowlers, I would say the Zimbabwean bowlers absolutely outplaying the Irish bowlers uh, by uh, bowling uh, some very good, uh, very good line. And let's see this Irish team, uh, as I said, the highest score uh, was Peter Sterling, who was run out for 41 of 70 deliveries with five fours. Um, Porterfield, as I said, Chisoro was the man who was doing the damage. Balbirni is a big wicket, and that his wicket was taken by um, uh, Kyle Jarvis uh, for two, which is a big wicket. Sterling made 41. Uh, Porterfield, uh, William Porterfield, seven of 11 deliveries, one four. Um, Joyce was out for not. Uh, the Bryan brothers disappointed. Uh, out for 8 and 7 respectively. Uh, Wilson was out for 15 of 41. Uh, McBride tried his bet, but it was really getting too hard uh, in the end. In fact, the Irish, uh, um, you could see how the Zimbabwean bowlers dominated as uh, the Irish team uh, was bowled out for 104. McBride was not out on 9. McCarthy was out for 2. Rankin 1. Mutak 4. 104 all out, a massive victory for Zimbabwe, and they would be very, very happy with the start in the Super Sixes. They won the match by 107 runs. Uh, as far as the, <coughs> the man of the match, as I said, was Sikandar Raza uh, for his brilliant batting. Uh, I mean, one, one has to say uh, that Zimbabwe definitely played uh, magnificently uh, against Ireland. Uh, well, dear fans, uh, friends, subscribers, uh, I'm trying to see whether there's any uh, cricket news that I could uh, really lay my hands on. Yes, there's a Pakistan Super League um, cricket uh, news that I can give you. The Peshawar Zalmi uh, were uh, really, the Peshawar Zalmi uh, won the match uh, with against Lahore uh, in wonderful pa fashion as uh, it was uh, the batting of Kamran Akmal, the wicketkeeper. What a knock from him. Absolutely blitzed uh, 107 runs uh, to uh, against the Lahore uh, uh, team uh, to win the match and also I'm also going to see and also uh, there is also one more match which was played uh, I'm trying to see it was Islamabad versus Karachi uh, where um, uh, the uh, it was Usman Khan the pace bowler uh, who, who struck very early with four good wickets with some real raw pace one could say and uh, it, it, that helped them uh, roll out the Islamabad for 124 and uh, they won that qualifier clash as uh, Islamabad United made 124 uh, and it was uh, Karachi Kings uh, who were the victors uh, by seven wickets. 
And as far as the other match was concerned, with the Peshawar and uh, the Lahore Kalanders, Lahore Kalanders, Multan Sultans uh, have been given the goodbye in this Pakistan Super League. Uh, and the, uh, the Peshawar Zalmis, 176 for 3, as I said, out of that, what a century from this, uh, uh, this guy, Kamran Akmal, uh, who, who really can play really aggressively, according to me. And he scored his four T20 century and he made 107 runs of a Peshawar Zalmi score of 176 for three uh, after Lahore Kalanders uh, had started 170. He absolutely uh, um, made mincemeat uh, of the Lahore Kalanders bowling. And uh, this is Umar Akmal's brother, as you all know. And Umar Akmal, as you know, he has been really struggling with a lot of problems uh, in the Pakistan Super League uh, this year. And other than that, uh, dear fan subscribers, uh, I think it's about time for me uh, to pull the curtain down on this uh, daily cricket show of mine today, uh, this on a Saturday. But what a what an innings from Mahmudullah to take Bangladesh into the finals. Uh, take a bow, Mahmudullah. And as I said, India and Bangladesh will be clashing in the Nandahas Trophy uh, T20 Tri Series in Sri Lanka on Sunday. And I'll be doing a preview tomorrow of the India versus Bangladesh game. Until then, it's good night.